Here's my new induction heater. This is the control circuit, power supply, oscillator. There's no feedback yet, so it's just open loop. These are the gate drives, inverter. There's a rectifier, filter capacitors, more filter capacitors, the inverter, a cute little current transformer on top, the output transformer. The coil goes to a capacitor that's 10 microfarads, and that's in series with the work coil, which is about 1 micro Henry. If I press the start button, it starts. I get a nice waveform. If I drop the frequency, you can see the current starts rising as it approaches resonance. You get to see that here's the waveform, but here's where the current peak is, so that there's a nice phase shift there. I really like this design because it has real obvious power factor. You can just look at it. Alright, I'm at resonance. Running maybe 20 amps peak right now. <sighs> Smells like oil. Oh, I see the galvanizing heating up inside. It's melting already. Right, it's just starting to glow red. Now the current's rising. As the steel stops being magnetic, I need to change the frequency. I really need a control circuit here to do this automatically. And the current rises. Oh, now the zinc's burning. You can see that's smoking already. Oh, this is going to get stinky pretty quickly. Oh. Oh, yeah. glowing already. Oh yeah. That's around 30 amps peak.